Welcome to Firearms of America. Today I am back here in Fort Myers, Florida on our uh, secret location property. <laughs> About to do the review of this, the very first review of a Steyr. Yes, Steyr, Austrian brand. Check this out. Four and a half inch barrel, chambered in nine millimeter. 17 rounds in the magazine. Let's put some uh, rounds through it and uh, see what uh, it can do. As you can see, the tree over there is still standing, even after my previous shotgun review. Let's see, maybe we can finish it up with uh, this uh, Steyr. Got target on it this time for a little accuracy. Gonna put some five rounds. Magazine is very easy to load. As you can see, it is uh, numbered. So you can see how many rounds you have in it. Let's see, it's gotta be four. Let's see if I can find the fifth round. And five. Check this out. All right, so the very first shots, very easy to rack, very smooth operation. I have to say the ergonomics of this gun feel really, really good. Let's uh, put some rounds, see what it can do. Not too shabby. So, I don't know if you noticed already, we will talk about it later in a better detail. One hand operation, as you can see, great stuff, just the way I like it. But the sights here are quite unique. It's not your regular three dot. This is a three triangle. Well, not exactly three triangles. So one triangle in a triangular rear, but we will talk about the sights later. Let's start from the beginning. We got our grip. And as I said, the ergonomics of the grip feel really, really good. It fits in to my small hands with my small fingers just perfectly. Yes, and you can have a proper grip on this gun without any problems. And it's, uh, I don't know, you probably hear it. You don't see it, but you hear it. It started raining over here. So uh, I'll uh, have to uh, cut it kind of short. <laughs> so the grip is excellent. Moving on, we got our mag release. Mag release is not ambidextrous, as you can see, only on one side, and it's kind of a thin line over here. Still easy to get a catch on it. Works very well for a fast mag in, mag out. Um, not ambidextrous. The slide release is not ambidextrous either. So this is not a very lefty friendly gun. I mean, you can still use it as a lefty, not a big deal, but you know, if you if you prefer the ambidextrous stuff so that you can have the same operation with your left hand, not the gun for you. You got your uh, accessory rail over here. The front of the trigger guard is nicely serrated, so if you're that type of guy, you can definitely do that. Um, the trigger, as you can see, there's a very similar system as in the Glock, kind of like a safe action system, which prevents, which gives you a drop safety but here is actually a little bit cooler than everything else i've seen on any other kind of trigger which kind of implemented that safe action system as you can see if the gun is not cocked the safe action system trigger it kind of sits almost flush to the trigger but once you cock it ah it's sticking out now so it's kind of works as an indication device to telling you that this is cocked we just by looking at the gun you can tell that the uh, gun is in a ready firing position I mean doesn't tell you if there is something in the chamber or uh, not but still it is a huge plus so let's put some five more rounds because we get uh, rained on not that bad but uh, still raining I don't want to get anything wet out here and uh, we will uh, move on to the uh, sight and the trigger which is uh, two I can say most important things because whenever it comes to a gun everything that you have in front of you is important if it can be a great trigger it can be great sights but 
if the grip does not have enough aggression, if it does not have the right ergonomics for you specifically, then obviously you're not going to have a proper grip on it and you're not going to be able to manage the recoil as good as you should be. So, um, speaking of the slide, we got the serrations on the back, serrations on the front. Now, if you're this type of racker, <laughs> like I am, you're probably going to have to get used to the ergonomics of the slide because there's not much of the grip area. As you can see, it kind of sits very similar to the CZ style pistols. Um, so you, you would have to get used to, or Beretta, not a lot of grip area if you're this type of person, but still, you can make it work, you can figure it out. All right, let's do some five more rounds. The range is hot. Ah, yeah, and we got the bullseye. <laughs> So, I have to say, four and a half inch barrel for nine millimeter handguns, um, it's probably the gold standard, in my opinion, of all the guns that are shot. With a four and a half inch barrel, you have that natural energy absorption from the recoil. So you have, you have enough, right? You have the, enough of the barrel to get the round going as, you know, as to utilize the full potential of the, of the nine millimeter. And at the same time, have a proper, um, recoil management if you have a proper grip. Anything under doesn't mean it's bad obviously, it's just you have to expect that you're gonna have naturally more recoil. Anything more, well then you kind of compromise on the whole point of a handgun being a handgun. So you can, can't really conceal carry it, it, you can't really carry it on you because it's heavier, it's bigger. Right, but this I think right here is just perfect. The ergonomics of it, you can you can use it as a concealed carry weapon without any problems. You can use it as a home defense weapon. I think it is just nicely balanced. Uh, reminds me of a Glock 19 uh, with the operation, with the whole size, except you have two extra rounds over the Glock 19 and in my opinion, a little bit of better grip because you have the full um, size grip over here. So let's talk about the sights. As I started telling you before, it is a very interesting, unique sight. I have not seen something like this before. Um, as you can see in the front, it has this little triangle. And the back, um, why is this interesting, right? Well, a few different reasons. When you have your standard three dot post sights, right? You're aligning the top, which is very important. The top and the middle. Here, as you can see, because it is a triangle, it kind of does it for you. So acquiring the target with the side, it's uh, much, much easier. I have the whole crew over here standing watching me do the review, throwing, throwing dirt. Like, like it's not enough that it's already raining, right? Thank you, thank you guys, I, I appreciate it. <laughs> That's what you get, see? That? <laughs> That's what you get. But I, I do like the sides. Now, will it take you time to get adjusted to these sides? Absolutely. That's why I always tell, tell you guys, if you're buying something, you make sure you, you take it to the range at least at least once a month and, and, and make sure you, <laughs> you train with it. But let's talk about the trigger. The trigger, I already mentioned the safe action system, but we also have, um, turn it this way, we have about, let's see, after you get past this pre-trigger, you have about, you have that little snap, it kind of allows you into the, right, into that territory. And then, this is very light trigger. So you have that probably about three and a half, four millimeters. And then just a little bit more, another millimeter, and then, a very crisp break. So very easy to adjust to the trigger. <laughs> I'm gonna put some five more rounds through it and then we'll try to uh, come up with a reasonable conclusion if we can do that. Hopefully we can. So I have to say, must be uh, pretty tough to be Steyr, an Austrian brand considering that you have <laughs> freaking Glock, the invincible, the most reliable, 
Honestly, what's your favorite gun? Glock. I want to shoot Glock. <laughs> Darren, what's your favorite handgun? Glock, he said. He said Glock. I, I haven't heard the CCC whatever. Glock. He said Glock. <laughs> <laughs> See, but you carry a Glock though, right? Yep. Yeah, but he carries a Glock. Glock <laughs> it's reliable, you can't go wrong, it's budget friendly and it's reliable. <laughs> That's really what it, what it uh, gets you with. So I, I have to, you know, you have to kind of understand the position that these guys come from. Uh, competing with someone like Glock must be tough. So we're going to give some extra credit. <clears throat> for being Austrian brand and doing a pretty good job as you can see so far. All right, hot! You know what, one thing I wanted to check before I let you guys go, just a personal little experiment. After all, it kind of stopped raining. So, we got some time. Aha! So, you do have a visual indication here. As you can see, there's a little cutout here in the chamber and it does show you that there is a round in it. So, besides the trigger indicating that the... Uh, it's cocked, the gun is cocked, right? The, the, it also indicates here, you can see the round in the chamber, which is an additional, I guess, safety. If you, if, you, if you like all of those safeties on your gun. All right, hot, just one round. And it didn't lag back on the last round because I had my finger laying on the slide release. And slide release here, by the way, as you can see, is very similar to the Glock slide release. The location, the positioning it. So if you were like me and you have that competition grip with your right thumb over the slide release, be prepared that you will have these little, um, basically slide not locking back on the last round because you have your thumb over it. So overall, I have to say, I am a huge fan of the Steyr. I am really looking forward to review some more guns from these guys, because this is it's reliable. It handles the recoil very well, all of the features, all of the safety features, I think smart and honestly, quite honestly, better than in the Glock because the trigger, you have that little indication, you have the chamber indication and I think little thing like this is what makes a gun stand out of everything else out there. So let me know in the comments below guys, what do you think about this gun? What do you think about this review? If you have any requests, drop them in the comments below and I will be happy to address them. Thank you very much guys for watching. This was Firearms of America. I'll see you guys in the next video. We'll uh, get back to work out there. We got, <laughs> we got Maurice over here. Got a uh, Darren and VC. I don't know what they're trying to do there. Darren broke, Darren broke the, uh, the wood chipper so he's not able to chip wood anymore. Glock is Austrian, yeah. Well, that's why I said it's, you know, so, it's, so very, very similar. It's a tough competition for Steyr going against Glock, you know. So um, I wonder if probably one of the engineers that worked with Glock went into Steyr. <laughs> they uh, are whist whistleblower. Whistleblower. This, <laughs> no, actually Steyr. No, Steyr started before Glock. Before Glock. Oh. Because Steyr, they started uh, 1806. Wow. 1800s, 1864, I think. Mm -hmm. And Glock, if I'm correct, right off the bat, it started uh, 1983, wow. something like that. Wow. Glock is fresh. Like a hundred years later, yeah. almost. Yeah. yeah. So Glock is pretty fresh. So then Glock, they probably took from Steyr something. Oh yeah, like yeah. I'm pretty sure they did, because because you you can see it's it's very similar in the but. And the uh, Steyr though has some features that. The Glock yeah. Have. The, but don't take my word for it. Done. Okay. Done. Keep work on going. Get the chainsaws. And uh, this is right here. This area is going to be our... Uh, well, besides the... Uh, what's it called? Clarification facility. Where you clarify everything or how hey, to shoot or whatever. Give me your leg. <laughs> you already did it once. You don't want to do it again. There, but that. this is also what? where our church is going to be. How many the stage is going to be over there. 70. 
oh, and uh, hey, all the seven, seating six. is going to be here seven. and that's where the parking lot is Sorry. going to be so once once we're all ready we'll definitely You're make sure to taping. announce really the what you're videotaping? I am the videotaping, look. Alright, right, I'm gonna go make a mess. Say hello, <laughs> go, go make a mess. <laughs> so, stay tuned for that guys. Thanks for watching.